Voters in Ferguson made history last night electing Councilwoman Ella Jones as their mayor. She is the first woman and the first African American person to hold that office in the city's 126 year history. And this morning we are so excited to be welcomed by Mayor Elect Jones. Good morning and congratulations. Good morning, Allie, and thank you. We were just speaking before we came back. I asked you if you got any sleep last night and you said. No, I didn't get any sleep. Uh, I finally decided to turn my phone off so I can get some sleep. And it's just so exciting that the people went to the polls and selected their choice. That's very exciting. And it's, and it's humbling also. Um, I'm just ready to serve the people. Well, I, I want to start there. You know, your victory last night was picked up nationally by the New York Times, CNN, among others. That doesn't happen with many municipal elections. So your win is a huge milestone in the city. And the city's changed a lot in the past six years. So what does that mean to you now with this new responsibility that you hold? Well, the new responsibility is that the people will have an opportunity to interact more with their government. Uh, I am going to be very transparent. Matter of fact, my first, after my first 90 days in office, I have already started putting a task force together so that we can do a town hall and the people of Ferguson would know the state of their city. Hmm. So it's very important that the people uh, be informed about what's going on so they can uh, be a part of the government. You know, just speaking with you this morning, I can tell that your passion for the city is undeniable. You've lived there for more than 40 years. So what do people need to know about Ferguson this morning as you join us? Well, people need to know that Ferguson is a very, very good place to raise a family. Ferguson is uh, diverse. Matter of fact, my husband and I decided to move here over 40 years ago because we wanted our daughter to walk to school and she, a good education with the Ferguson Florissant School District. And plus my husband wanted to be closer to McDonnell Douglas, but it's now Bowie. So we have had a positive experience here with Ferguson. And I just want everyone to know that it's a great place. It's not what you see on television. Uh, had an opportunity to take some people to walk around the various neighborhoods and they were surprised at the uh, housing stock here in Ferguson. So it's a good place. I have great neighbors. Uh, come on and move to Ferguson and experience a good quality of life. Uh, Mayor elect, I do want to bring up the death of Michael Brown in 2014. Uh, we have seen some changes that took place in the city. But with the recent death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, it's ob obvious there is still a lot of work to do as a country. So uh, what is the answer? And I know that's a tough question. Well, it is a tough question and it's people working together. You know, we are in the midst of a pandemic and the only way we are going to uh, get to the other side of this pandemic. It's just people working together. We have to be more tolerant of each other and be willing to do things that we have not done before. Hmm. You know, Captain Ron Johnson was joining us earlier in the six o'clock hour and he said we are more alike than we are different. And that really stuck with me. Um, it was powerful. We are more like, um, I have several neighbors. We have a lot of things in common. We. We do a lot of things together, so we are more alike than we, we are different. I believe if people will only take the time and sit down and interact with each other, then they will see that we are more alike. My last question for you, and I'm sure this is what kept you up last night. After you're sworn in, any immediate plans that we can expect? Well, after I am sworn in, uh, my immediate goal is to interact with the council and to make certain that we are on the same page. We want to work together. We want to move the city forward and work on the businesses uh, that were looted, uh, the 
glasses were broke, the windows were broken out, really helped them to get back because most of them was working to open their business because in, in the midst of this pandemic. And now this is a setback. So really want to work with them, work with St. Louis County, work with uh, St. Louis uh, Partnership and see what they can do to help these businesses. I'm sure the owners are going to be really happy to hear that. Mayor-elect Ella Jones, once again, thank you for your time this morning and congratulations. Thank you, Allie.